Unspeakable fear, Harry is restless in his quest for his seat at the coronation. Apparently, he's obsessed with rejection. Hello, friends. Welcome to Breaking Royal News about the notorious hypocritical couple, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. There are rumors circulating that Prince Harry is feeling worried about where he's going to sit during his father's coronation. And without Meghan there, who in the world is going to want to talk to him? I guess he's hoping that he's going to be sitting next to Eugenie so that they can make fun of everything together. I guess the non-working royals are concerned about who's going to draw the short straw and have to be sitting next to Harry. I do hope that the Duchess of Edinburgh gets a pass because she had to sit beside Meghan at the funeral. Now, reportedly, it is true, which is to say the sources have said this is the real reason for the delay. This means, as with many things that we don't know, the royal family will not deny or confirm, which is how things should be, actually. Harry and Meghan can say whatever they want to, but lately, they have been pretty quiet. Now, I wouldn't be a bit shocked personally if this were true. It seems petty enough for Harry to be worried about, but who knows? Harry's a pretty petty person. He's going to be sitting wherever he's supposed to sit. It's going to be interesting to see what happens, but I don't think it's anything to get so excited about. It has been revealed that Harry's PR people put out a statement advising that six demands had been made to the palace, one being where he sits. Now, these demands were the reason why his reply was so delayed. As we know, Meghan will not be coming with Harry to the coronation. He'll be all by himself back in the fold of his family. British media reporting on the coronation wrote that Harry and Meghan gave conditions to King Charles when it came to where they wanted to sit, and so many other conditions too, including balcony appearance in spite of the fact that they are not working royals. Well, it didn't seem like they got the request they wanted, so Meghan decided she's going to refuse to come, which, if you ask me, is the best possible outcome for the king and the coronation success. Harry won't have to deal with the stress of wondering what Meghan is doing or what kind of mood she's in that day. And he won't always be having to keep an eye on her, making sure that she's not pissed, drunk, etc. Now, there will be an undercurrent of iciness towards him for sure. He's going to expect that. But then again, this is his father's special day, and he should feel so proud of that. Harry's biggest concern will probably be the reception that he's going to get back in Montecito when this event is finally over. One source has reported that Harry wants a seat where he can have a quick exit, especially after his latest stunt in the high court case against the Sun. Harry's not the happy, popular prince he used to be. Now he's just a bitter, spiteful man who is pushing 40. If it's really true what Harry is saying, then why did he leave it to now? Could it be a coincidence? I don't think so. Is Harry really trying to destroy his own father, his stepmother, his brother, and the late queen's memory too? Well, Harry, I don't think you're going to be winning this battle. Not today. Knowing what he was going to do, he had the nerve to make demands before he would accept the coronation invitation. He and Meghan must be so desperate for both money and revenge. Harry has ruined himself, though, not his family, not the media, and not the people of the UK. So Netflix released a statement saying there was a big sigh of relief when Harry accepted the invitation, as any photographs taken would mean money for them, and they would have an inside story. Apparently, they are thinking about a second docuseries. But as far as I'm concerned, the latest news where Harry is literally stabbing his family in the back, including his brother, it's not good news. Harry's court case against Rupert Murdoch Newspaper Group started in the high court. In a written statement that was submitted by Harry to the court, he accused his father of blocking his claim so that he could get positive PR for himself and Camilla. Essentially, this is the same old accusation that Harry made in spare. Now, we've just got a little over a week to go before the coronation, and Harry has reiterated his accusations to the high court. So I think that when the plane bringing him to the coronation lands, he needs to tell them to leave the engine running. If Harry believed that his reception was going to be cold, well, it just got a lot colder. Harry really has turned out to be such a weasel, hasn't he? And I haven't listened to all the cases, but when I check the newspaper later on tonight, I'm going to get all the facts. I'm sure somebody else is going to be able to paint a much clearer picture of the latest shocking news from Harry. I'm just too upset to read up on it and talk about it right now. Seriously, though, how low can he go? 
I mean, he's doing all of this right before the coronation. If I were a member of the royal family, I would request that Harry be stopped from coming. He and Meghan have to be so excited about what's happening. I'm sure they're just patting each other on the back. They are so spiteful, so vindictive, so jealous, such low lives. They really do deserve each other, and we don't deserve either of them. I do hope that the king now has the strength and the courage to pull the rug out from under them. I don't care who agrees or disagrees with this action. You know, Harry should probably tell somebody who cares if he could find someone like that. I thought maybe when he accepted the invitation to the coronation that he had finally started to reflect on everything that he's done and realize that he and Meghan were wrong. But apparently I was wrong about that. You know what, Harry? I think you've messed up now. Don't you mess with the big boys. You are never going to win. And you know what? Don't let the door hit you on your way out. One insider weighed in, saying some tabloids have reported as much, but honestly, he's a royal. It's not inconceivable that the royals are in many ways driven by appearance and status. The closer you are to the monarch, the better it looks for you as a royal. The other thing is that he's not just attending the coronation of the King of the UK. He's attending the coronation of his father, the King of the UK. If he's not sitting where one would expect a child of the monarch to sit, he will certainly feel some sort of way. Despite his wife, his book, and his remarks to Oprah, his place is side by side with his brother to honor the accession of his father to the throne of the king of 15 countries. Some things rank higher than tabloid-generated opinions. It's also far more important than hurt feelings from both sides about wasted words. Charles should insist that his prince of the realm, his son, should be right up front with his brother. For this occasion, hatchets should be buried. Harry should also rise above his angst and disregard advice from others. This is much bigger. But disagreeing with the opinion above, one expert said, does that really matter to anyone except to those who have the dubious honor of sitting close to him and feeling the awkward chill that will hang like a dark cloud right over his head? Hopefully, he will feel that chill right down to his treacherous bones. Inviting a known traitor to the coronation will not please anyone short of the traitor himself and his publicity hound dog of a wife. They'll use it to the hill to give themselves more ammunition against the family who has given love constantly to their crass and crazy stunts. Normalcy will not return to the realm until Harry and Meghan are exiled and all titles put into abeyance permanently. Put out the fire of their relevance and soon enough they will be drawn into the hills of oblivion with other inconsequentials of Lala. Do you think Harry really is worried about his sitting position at his father's coronation? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you have found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye now.